Okay. Oh my god, there was literally a fly in there. Okay, so we have this thing in the UK called the food hygiene rating, and you've probably seen stickers like these in the windows of restaurants and cafes, but you'll never see one that's got a rating less than a four because putting it in your window is completely optional and no one's going to put a sticker in their window that advertises a low food hygiene rating. So what you can do before you go to a restaurant, don't Google it or look on TripAdvisor, you're wasting your time. What you want to do is you want to go over to ratings.food.gov.uk and then you can either search for a specific business or you can just search in your general area and then you can basically just get a list of all the places that you definitely do not want to eat at. This is both amazing and terrifying and my first thought was we need to make a video out of this information. <laughs> Ever since I saw this clip, I have been obsessed with checking the IG rating of every single place that I order food from. I know I live in a big city, I live in London, and there's a lot of restaurants, but the shocking amount of restaurants with a zero, zero hygiene rating, I had no idea. I was eating from places that had like a number two hygiene rating, which is extremely low. So I thought for today, for the main meals, we're gonna go and get takeout. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, from places with a zero hygiene rating. This is a terrible idea. I am most likely going to get food poisoning. Is this worth for YouTube content? Yes. It is how I live my life. I need my laptop. I need a Wi-Fi hotspot. We need to find these places with a zero hygiene rating, which sadly is not difficult. We're about to become an inspection hygiene rating van. Like suddenly we work for the government. We've got my laptop and I am going to set up our <laughs> I'm gonna set up our hygiene. Oh Well, this is why you should always close tabs before you open anything in public So this is a government website that we're trying to access so this Ooh, The government wants to know my location Wow, I can't believe they asked. I'm just gonna type in London because I'm willing to drive to find really bad places and this is the moment where we basically choose breakfast like a cafe like a coffee shop should we write cafe and see if there's anything with zero ratings i'm gonna sort this from zero to five rather than five to zero because most people are looking for places with great hygiene <gasps> do you see what i mean there's so many places with a zero all these hygiene ratings were given recently so this is from 2021 the london bread and cake company sounds promising. What about this one? It's a pub, a bar, and a nightclub. And it's called Buns Cafe. <laughs> it makes sense. Hygiene food handler, including preparation, cooking, reheating, cooling, and storage. Major improvement necessary. Management of food safety. Major improvement necessary. <laughs> There's this place called stores and cafe. How do you have a store and a cafe and both are rated with zero hygiene rating? It was given a zero hygiene rating in June the 14th of June, so this is very, very recent. Cleanliness and condition of facilities and building, including having appropriate layout, ventilation, hand washing facilities, and pest control. Major improvement necessary. This basically means there's like cockroaches and spiders all over your food. Are we that bothered? It's just coffee. If there's like a little fly in your coffee, we just pick it out. Should we go to this place? Something is telling me this is a good one. I was hungry for breakfast and suddenly, not so much. We just got to the place for breakfast. This is called store. One of the sides is a store. The other side is a cafe. From the outside, this just looks like a looks like a nice supermarket, a nice little cafe. Very like standard for London because their rating is so fresh. They just gave it literally like three weeks ago. If we go in with a big camera, we're gonna get in trouble. So we're gonna do this literally as a spy. I am going to film it with my phone as I go in. I'm gonna just I don't know like. Does this look like a, a normal way to hold my phone? Like sideways? Should we do it like this? Is this a normal way to hold my phone? Wait, let me think about it. Let me relax. I would like a latte, no cockroaches. I'm gonna try to film it with my phone, but honestly, this is not looking like a zero hygiene rating. This is my dog's bed, by the way. But if I film like that, I guess that's like the best way to do this. And then you guys will probably have like a view of me going in. Like I'll just go like that and then I'm thinking of getting like a pastry or something like that. A coffee? Should I wear a hat so that they don't recognize me if I ever drive here? I'm not gonna get kidnapped or something. There's a lot of tourists here. 
tasting London's best gastronomy. Could I get, is this like cinnamon? Yeah, could I get a, one of these cinnamon rolls? Get a regular latte? Thank you. Could I have a little bit of uh, caramel syrup? Do you have water as well? Oh yeah. You can just leave it like that. So I can't open the fridge. No, it's okay. Honestly, it's fine. Thank you. Have a good day. Was really hot. It wasn't like as bad as I was expecting, but we will see. They only had two things, one cake and one cinnamon roll. That's all they had. Everything else, everyone was having the same thing, either one or the other, and everything else was just drinks. So, so I got a cinnamon roll. Like, that actually looks pretty good, right? Every single person in there was having like a latte and they looked so good. I was like, I want one of those. The only thing I will say, and you will see in the video, they had like mayos and ketchups and all those things like sitting next to like cinnamon buns and stuff like that. It was like a bit messy, like chaotic. And the glass wasn't very clean. And like, I don't know, like you could see some of that, but the girl working there was really sweet. And I saw the way she was making a coffee. This is a caramel latte, it smells so good. So this is officially our breakfast from a zero hygiene rating the first taste test that I'm not thrilled about I mean maybe I am a cinnamon roll is good because if this is stale we would just know oh that man was oh my god this is not fresh this is the driest pastry I've ever eaten <laughs> like there's not even competition wow this is Unswallow, unswallow, swallow, swallowable. Thank God I got the water. <laughs> this is the only way to actually eat this. This is covered in frosting. The fact that it's dry. Let me see if you can. This is so dry. It tastes like it was made not yesterday, not the day before like a week ago. I'm trying to be nice about it. You've never seen me do this ever in my life, but I might actually leave the breakfast at that and we might just go and find lunch. I do think if I had eaten this while it was still fresh, I think this would have been really good. I honestly think it would have been good. There's nothing wrong with this. It doesn't taste gross. It's just stale, but it doesn't, it doesn't taste fresh. That's what it comes down to. I think it was like soya milk or, or almond milk. It was like an Alpro milk. It wasn't in the fridge. It was just standing next to the cinnamon buns. It kind of seemed like a refrigerated thing, but not really. Because you don't refrigerate cinnamon buns. It tastes like a McDonald's ice cream with coffee mix in it and caramel flavor. This is a really good coffee. With the caramel flavoring, this honestly just tastes like ice cream. This is really good quality caramel sauce. Like it tastes really good. You can come here for coffee, but that's probably about it. Looking for lunch. I am hungrier than I was hoping that I would be, but I'm not shocked. I mean, it is what it is. Once again, in general, London, because I'm not looking for anything specific. I'm open to all cuisines. I wouldn't be disappointed in every possible shade of disappointment. I'm not even gonna type in a business name and I'm just gonna do a search in London and sort it by the lowest. So these are actually the worst of the worst. Oh, wow. <laughs> so many options there's honestly so many options you can find zero ratings in any kind of cuisine basically avo spice sounds promising but maybe not frozen plus how do you get a zero rating on a frozen food restaurant so this place is called it was rated zero on the 17th of june this is even fresher than breakfast so i wonder what kind of food they serve we're gonna 
Oh my god, this is the first time on the standards for the food that I see an urgent improvement necessary. Management of food safety. This includes food that is served safe to eat and staff that know about food safety. This is bad. Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna type this on Google and see because most of these places, they have zero hygiene rating, but they're so good at branding. They are five stars on Google because people have no idea what they're eating. Like this is some conspiracy theory. So let's, let's see what happens when we type this. This has a rating of four stars on Uber Eats. This is a 4.5 stars on Just Eat. Let's go on their official website. They are going to come and find my address and make me eat their food. On their website, there's no information about their hygiene rating. The cuisine is kind of everything. Like I see some like Chinese burgers, fries. Oh my God, the food looks incredible. This is not real. These are stock photos. There is no possible way these are real photos. They do not mention their rating anywhere. Are we surprised? So they make Chinese, Thai and Japanese food. This might be the problem. And then next to that, there's a picture of a burger, which once again, that might be the problem. Wow, that's a lot of options for food. I'm gonna get the vegetable dumplings and this is completely not related to the fact that you can get salmonella poisoning from vegetables. For mains, we've got Chinese comfort food, katsu curry, teriyaki, they do wraps, rice, and noodles, Malaysian, Vietnamese. <laughs> there's like eight different types of Cuisines in here, this is so overwhelming to choose from. Maybe the hygiene inspector was just overwhelmed. I'm kind of interested in the Thai green curry. I think that might be what I'm gonna get. They have so many curries that I feel like I need to try one of them. So I'm gonna get a Thai green curry, um, spicy. It's a curry. I don't get to choose the protein. And I think I'm gonna have one Japanese option. I'm gonna have the crispy chicken yakisoba noodles. And I know this is a lot of food, but content. That's the excuse. I would have extra spicy, but they charge 25 cents extra. And I'm going to get a Diet Coke because you can't mess that one up. I'm going to have one portion of jasmine rice. I actually think the prices are really good. Our order as... Why is there a countdown? What's going to happen when it ends? Oh, this is... They give me 10 seconds to second guess and cancel the order. We give you 15 seconds and you said you still wanted to come eat here. So now we eat here. I can't see the logo from here, but I think it says Japanese, Thai, literally they make all types of food. The place looks incredible. If I was on this street, I would say this is the bougiest looking restaurant. The branding of this restaurant, incredible. This does not make any sense. I am as confused as you are, but once we have the food here, we will know. I love how there's a restaurant opening right in front of here because, you know, it can't get any worse. Anyways, I've got my camera here. So let's see what happens. I don't think this was intentional, but as soon as I walked into the restaurant, I realized I can't use any of the footage here because they're blasting copyright music. So I'm just gonna tell you kind of what happened. The first thing they asked me was what kind of protein I wanted for my green curry because the website didn't really give me the option. I chose chicken and this is relevant later on. Overall, they were super nice. The guy didn't even wanna take tips from me. Honestly, customer service, like a 10 out of 10. Now here's when things start to change. I'm not a health and safety specialist, but even to me, there were like a few things that just stood out. Minor things, like there were boxes literally everywhere, which I guess it was kind of similar to the breakfast place, but then, there were like million pots of mayo sitting there at room temperature, which was kind of weird. Also, the guy working in the kitchen was making like a million different dishes. It felt like a job for six people and there was one guy doing it. I felt bad for him. It felt like they were very understaffed. Then on to worse things. Every time the guy was preparing a salad or a dish for takeout, he had one pair of like utensils to mix all the ingredients. So cross-contamination times a hundred. I don't want to say rotten, but there were some vegetables in the corner that didn't look very fresh. Like it just it didn't look good. Because they didn't know what I wanted in my green curry, they actually prepared it in front of me. The guy literally makes a curry in 30 seconds. There was no curry, then five seconds later, it's ready and he's pouring it into like a dish for me to take out. I think the curry was like pre-made in the fridge or something. It was kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. I feel bad because I do think the guy was trying his best, but like I was kind of freaked out.
might need some fresh air for this one. First of all, I do want to say that they were incredibly nice at the restaurant. Whoever is the people who work there, they were really nice. It seemed like they cared about what they were doing. I don't know much about like food hygiene, but I did see them I think that's what you call cross-contamination. They use the same kitchen utensil for beef. They used it to mix the salads as well. At some point he was mixing the lettuce or the peppers and he was literally the same utensil used for the pulled beef. If you're vegetarian or if like certain cultures can't eat beef, for example, I think you might have been not happy with that. With that being said, let's have lunch. These are the vegetable dumplings and also I've got a, a wasp. Oh no. Oh wow. Okay. Tastes like mushroom, which is an interesting flavor. It tastes okay. The outside is crispy, so the frying part, I think it's really good. But the inside, I don't know what filling they use, it's really not good. Somehow this is too low for my standards, and that's like... It's like fried chicken with something. Every food that the guy was preparing, like for orders for takeout, he was covering everything in sriracha sauce. So I think these were supposed to be noodles, right? There we go. We've got noodles in the bottom, lettuce around it, and then fried chicken on top with cheese sauce. That's what they call fusion gastronomy. So this is fried chicken with the, I don't know. Oh, that's mustard. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I love that. So the chicken tastes like, um, not chicken? Tough one to swallow. I know this is mean, but I'm gonna be honest. This is not good fried chicken, and I've never in my life have ever had fried chicken that wasn't good, so... Oh, wow. It's like barbecue sauce on top of fried chicken, mustard. This is literally insane, guys. This does not taste like Japanese food. The closest to the flavors of this would be American food, but not good one. It tastes like cheeseburger, KFC, but like really bad KFC. But I'm glad that we did order a Thai curry, so there is hope. They put the whole thing on the wok, like to cook it, and it was ready within 30 seconds. So I think the chicken is like pre-cooked, so I'm guessing it's gonna be the exact same as the fried one. I love Thai curry, especially green one. I literally had it for dinner last night. <gasps> Oh my god, there's like so much oil on top. Oh my god, this is... Like, that's oil. It's literally dripping oil. I have to show you guys a photo of this. It's literally covered in oil. Wait, this is chicken? I've never seen chicken that looks that square. I thought it was fine, but suddenly I'm worried about my health. Is this worth it? Thai green curry, I guess. No, no, no. Mm -mm. I literally freaked out. I've literally never felt like so repulsed by food ever. Everyone's criticism on my videos that I like everything. Well, there you go. I hate everything. I wish them the best. I hope they get their stuff together. I can't emphasize how nice I always am about things on my channel. Like if this is your first time in one of my videos. I don't think I've ever remember spitting food out because I literally could not swallow it. That's the first time I think that happened. These vegetable dumplings are not that bad, turns out eating something out of a five-star restaurant all of a sudden. Even with that weird filling, it tastes like unwashed mushrooms. Man, I really like, there's nothing good to say here. We have to skip to dinner. There's nothing else to do because I am hungry. I honestly am hungry. All I've eaten today was half of a cinnamon bun. I didn't have any of the chicken and the noodles. I've had vegetable dumplings though, so that is the only thing I've eaten today. I've got my laptop, so we're gonna look for a place for dinner, but I just wanna say that I honestly thought this was gonna be fine. I thought maybe these places, are they're just being really harsh on them and the food is not that bad. And after lunch, I am genuinely scared. I don't wanna be mean to the businesses. I might even bleep out the names, but it is the truth. Like, I'm not just saying that for being dramatic because I actually wanted this to go the other way around. For dinner, what is the only food that I honestly believe that there's no way to mess this up? Pizza. I even wonder if there's such thing as a zero hygiene rating pizza place. Domino's Pizza, five star hygiene rating. Suddenly this is not that trustworthy. There's literally one result with a zero hygiene rating for pizza. There's a lot of one, it keeps going. But there's one that is actually zero. It's a barbecue kebab and pizza house. This is a takeaway sandwich shop, so it's not an actual restaurant. You can't eat in there. Oh my God. 
hygienic food handling, somehow only improvement necessary. So, you know, take your time. Let's see what this place's rating is on Google, just out of curiosity. This is interesting. So on Google, this place actually has a rating of 3.1 stars, which is really low for Google. Let's read some of their reviews. I think this is gonna be really interesting. Says they are not talking in English. I paid six pounds for something on the picture. You can go to a place that is serving food from a different country and expect people to speak in English. Second of all, let's see if the food is actually that bad. Hmm. Worst place, don't order, you won't get your food. I am so glad that everyone else has had problems with this place. It's not that they forgot your order, it's that they ate your order. <laughs> I ordered from this place, watched the driver walk back to the car with my food and drive away. I wouldn't even give them one star, just received our delivery and half the order was missing. Staff very rude when trying to explain order was wrong. Turned up over two hours late, forgot the burger and then wouldn't answer the phone. Shop hygiene and disposal of food waste. <laughs> These people, they have a zero hygiene rating. Also, they don't seem like they care. Or maybe this is written by a bunch of Karens, which is an in it's a possibility. Hi, uh, could I order some pizza, please? Could you call on your number, please? We don't take private number. Oh, alright. Thank you. Why is this so difficult and this place doesn't even have a good hygiene rating? Like, I'm gonna order online because they wanted my phone number and I don't think so. For my own safety. For my own safety, we shouldn't be eating from there. I'm gonna get a double pepperoni, double cheese, just because it's just a regular. This is very expensive. Oh my god, I'm praying that there's some dessert because then that means I get to eat something. They have strawberry cheesecake, chocolate donuts, oven baked cookies. Suddenly I'm ignoring all the hygiene rays. I'm gonna get four cookies. Let's go have dinner. I'm so hungry at this point that like, you know when you're so hungry that you're not hungry anymore? I'm there. We got our pizza. Whatever happens, this is what I have to eat for dinner. Oh. I love this. But it's surprisingly. I hope that I got all of this on camera because I was so nervous filming with my phone because as soon as I walked inside that place, like my hairs were standing up. It felt cursed. It was empty. Like there was not a single client. There was no food inside. How weird was that? There was a whole kitchen of like metal trays, metal counters and everything. It looked like a professional kitchen with zero food. They brought this from the back, like I'm sure this is frozen. So something sketchy was going on with this place and they don't want us to see them preparing food because there was no food. Where did this come from? Am I freaked out? Yes. Am I hungry? Yes. Am I hungrier than I am freaked out? Yes. Oh. That literally looks like um, Domino's cookies. Oh. It's... Could it be that we're gonna get lucky for dinner? Let's see the pizza. So this is the pizza that we... Okay. Oh my god, there was literally a fly in there! <laughs> Did you see, like... There was literally a fly coming out of it, and I think there was more than one. I mean, it looks standard, right? Like, it doesn't look too bad, actually, surprisingly, so... It might be that this is not too bad. I kind of want to start with the cookies because I honestly think there's no going wrong here. These cookies are kind of raw and I don't know, like, usually that's like a good thing, like a cookie dough. <gasps> oh my god, these are like kind of incredible. No, they are raw. Okay, maybe we'll save that for the end. So I'm gonna start with the pizza. Oh my god, this pizza is so tough. This is... The slices are almost glued. Look at this. Ugh. Ugh. The consistency is of like stale pizza. Cheers to the first food product of today that actually seems decent. Okay. It's not offensive. 
I was the most nervous about the pepperoni, but actually the pepperoni tastes good. It's not an incredible pizza, I will say that. If I had to rate this pizza flavor-wise, not hygiene-wise, because there was a fly in the box, like a two, two out of five, on any regular day, that would be a disappointment, but today, this is like a 10 today. <laughs> it's very greasy. The dough is very solid and stale, like a stale biscuit, but the pepperoni is great. And the pepperoni grease is kind of everywhere, which makes it taste like pepperoni. My favorite thing about pizza restaurants is they don't make the dip. <laughs> so this dip, unless it's expired, this expired on the 31st of June. Are you kidding me? 31st of June, that wasn't that long ago. Should I? I mean, they don't have hygiene rating anyways. It'll be fine, just one bite. My poo is gonna be spicy anyways, so... Might as well make it spicier. Wow, this is the first thing that I've eaten today that... This is good. That's a testament to how bad the food was. Ooh, no, the aftertaste is kinda weird. I have no choice at this point. I was very excited about the cookies and then suddenly I'm like, I'm gonna get the most cooked one from a regular hygiene rating place. This would be incredible. Look at that, it's so soft, literally falling apart. It's a great cookie. From this place, it's a bit dangerous. Oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> I'm glad we did a pizza place because I don't think they make these foods there. This is frozen. So obviously it tastes good. So I think I don't think it's comparable, a one-star hygiene rating from a pizza place to the lunch place, for example, that does curries, because curries have to be cooked. It could be that the reason why this place has such a bad hygiene rating is because the kitchen, like the facilities, they look clean from what we saw, so I also don't know where this hygiene rating is coming from. Do I know this is bad pizza? Yes. Is it the best thing I've had today? Yes, it is what it is. One thing I will mention for this video that I was thinking is that all these places that I went to get food items, these items, I already know them. I know what they taste like, what they're supposed to taste like. I eat them regularly. I'm trying to be as objective as I can because even though we went to some places that foods from other cultures, I know these foods and I eat them regularly. I didn't want this to be like, Karen tries spicy food for the first time, hates it. If there was something that I'd never had before, I wouldn't judge it based on these places because that wouldn't be fair to the cultures, to the cuisines involved in the video. I was trying to be as nice as I could while still keeping it real. If you live in America, I don't know if there's like an equivalent of this website. Someone please let me know in the comment section. Isn't it called like the FDA or something like that? <gasps> I just spilled pizza sauce on my shoes. Well, that just made the day the only possible thing that would make the day worse. If you know about a place where people can find out about the food ratings of restaurants, please leave it in the comment section down below because I think it's important. The only way to make it even also to the city of London. Give this video a like if you think we should do a full day of only eating from places that have a five star hygiene rating. Wow. <laughs> But I think that would be so much fun. We could go to literally the same cuisines just to make sure this is not culturally offensive so we make it even to the people so no one gets upset. Let me know what you guys think. I think I just got a dodgy bite that doesn't taste very good and now it's grossing me out a little bit. So um, it's been a great day. It's an honor to make incredible content for all these years. And please don't forget to subscribe and switch my notifications on so you don't miss out part two because I feel like this is not gonna be complete until we do the polar opposite. Like we need the balance, the yin and the yang. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you guys and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.